Another important category in the mod designer is the player category. These blocks allow you to control your Minecraft players, entities, and items. You can do things like set the game mode, call on entities, and clear your inventory. Let's use these blocks to make a mod that teleports us to where we throw an egg or a snowball. For this, let's start with this projectile event block. Then, the conditional if block. In this conditional parameter, we want to teleport under two conditions, when the projectile is an egg, and when it's a snowball. How do we do this without creating two different conditionals? We use an operator block. All operators are parameter blocks. Generally, they handle all things having to do with numbers and math. From here, we can use the OR block. This allows us to give two parameter options instead of one. Let's put that here. Next from the player category, let's set the two parameters with two entity is blocks. We'll specify the entity by dragging the projectile parameter from the event block and choose egg and snowball from the drop down options. Finally, let's add the teleport block and drag the player and location parameters from the event block. Once we hit save and deploy, the mod will automatically be loaded into our private Minecraft server. Now we can projectile teleport with our eggs and snowballs. Let's see this mod in action. By combining all these different code blocks, you can create all kinds of mods for your Minecraft world. Ready to get started?